Things have changed here at this house, Leif Kirkland. I'm going to give you a quick tour and an update of exactly how we're getting on with the renovations here. I think they're going really well, but the place does still look like a bomb has hit it. So this is what's going to be our living room. And as you can see, actually not that much has been happening in here. We've ripped up all the carpets and everything like that, removed the heaters, sanded all the walls back. And actually we've started to paint. This wall has had a couple of coats. This wall has had a couple of coats. That one is gonna be wallpaper. And that one is gonna be wallpaper. All of the scatterboards were dark, dark browns. We wanted to brighten the place up, so they are now white. Happy days. The only trouble with making the skirting boards white was that it made the existing radiators look kinda yellowish. So, to fix that, we've got new radiators. These are anthracite and they're really cool. So there's going to be new radiators in all of the rooms that are kind of open to the public. So in other words, the ones that aren't in the bedrooms will all be brand new anthracite radiators. We filled like a million holes in these walls. For some reason, the previous owner had sockets or power outlets absolutely everywhere. So we've had to fill loads and loads of holes. There was a socket there, 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 a socket there. You get the picture. So this is the dining room, the one that I took out, the big door with the glass panels, and you guys saw me boarding up. It was there, look, can't even tell now, can you? So there was a doorway here with a big glass panel there, and it was all brown and horrible and old. Since I boarded it up, the plaster has been smoothed all out, and it's been given a couple of po co <laughs> That didn't go well. And it's been given a couple of coats of paint. And you literally can't tell it's been there. We're changing all of the power sockets, switches, everything like that, to these satin chrome ones to look well sexy. Ooh. Ash is busy painting the fireplace. It's a living flame or gas fire. We were gonna rip it out, but we decided it cost too much to rip it out and replace it with something else. So instead, we're renovating it. This was all wooden surround and it had all these kind of old fashioned ornate type things all over it. So we've removed them, smoothed it down, and Ashley has painted it all. And now she's trying to paint the marble, believe it or not. How's it going? It's good. So this was all gold roundabout here with a kind of black and gold thing here. So this is all gonna go silver with black in the middle. The coals are gonna stay. This will look like stone eventually. And this white fire surround actually looks pretty good now, doesn't it? This is actually the final colour for this room, or pretty much the whole house, believe it or not. But the chimney breast itself is going to get wallpapered as well, which is why it looks like that. This light, as beautiful as it is, is not staying. We have something seriously cool going there. This is the kitchen, and it's where most of my time and the electrician and the plumber's time has been spent so far, probably. As you can see, there is a huge change. As you can see, it was full of red cupboards, there was little walls everywhere. It really, really needed modernising and updated, so that is kind of what we're supposed to be doing. We're getting there. The archway is not yet finished. I say it's an archway, it's more of a gap in the wall now, isn't it? Dave's job is actually to start facing up some of that to replace some of the bits of wood from the skirting boards, which have been taken off during this process. And by the way, the bath's not staying there. So here is a quick render of what this kitchen should look like when it's finished. As you can see, there's gonna be ovens right along the back wall there. A really big, gorgeous island is going there. And then all around there, units with concrete worktops. One of the biggest changes to this room is the lighting. There were two lights in here before, and now, there are 11 spotlights. It's seriously bright, although it's probably strobing in the camera. We'll sort that though, don't worry. That is where the doorway was before. It's now completely closed up. We've changed all of the doors to these oak finished, kind of modern looking doors. They've got nice little bevels all the way down. We were gonna rip out that glass panel there because we weren't sure about it, but we actually quite like it now. Or at least I do. There's a switch that needs changed. Again, holes everywhere. This whole floor, so all the way down the hallway, all of in here, in the porch, in the dining room. And here in the living room is going a grey oak flooring. It's going to be gorgeous. Probably put a huge rug in here though to warm it up. It's little things that have taken ages. There was big black panels here on these walls and units obviously. And when I ripped off those panels, the wall came away as well. So I had to re-plasterboard pretty much all of this wall. There was holes all the way down here. And people kept saying, don't worry, they're behind the units. Nobody will ever see them, just leave them. 
but we fixed them because we kind of, I don't know, it didn't look good. So we fixed all of the holes down here. We've still got Coven to replace up there. And again, there was holes everywhere. Like this one, which hasn't been completely fixed yet, but we've replaced the Coven and filled it. Now it just needs sanded back so you could never tell there was a problem. So this was the bathroom and it's gonna be a wardrobe, a walk-in wardrobe. For us, we like big bathrooms, so this was never gonna work. The bath was wedged in here, the Kazi toilet, loo, whatever you wanna call it, was sitting here, so every time you went to the sink, you were tripping over it. Not ideal. So this is the new bathroom. This was a closet, and it's gonna be turned into a shower, as you can see. The whole of the floor has been tiled. The whole of that wall is gonna be tiled. And I'm not allowed in right now, because Thomas, the tiler, would kill me, which is why these are here, and I'm on this side of the wood. But the whole of this wall is gonna be tiled as well, so should be good. My office. It's a storage facility for the tiles right now. And that wall is not staying like that. It's like that because the blue would have come through any cracks or gaps between the wallpaper. So this room has probably needed the least work of all of the rooms. What we did was sand back all of the walls, filled the holes, ripped up the carpet, replaced the doors, and the light fitting will be getting replaced at some point soon. And this bad boy, with its bright colours, is the boys' room. They picked the colour scheme. We just ripped up the carpets, filled all of the holes in the wall, removed the blinds, everything like that. Again, changed the doors, changed the switches. It's been given a couple of coats of paint, and that wall is getting a space theme put on it, believe it or not. Again, boys' choices, not mine. We haven't changed the view though, still the same one. The doors are this height off the ground because me and Ash like our feet to be nice and cosy comfy. So we have got the world's thickest carpet. No, like literally, it is the thickest carpet in the world. It's like, this thick. It's awesome. Probably a stupid choice. We've also filled the hallway with spotlights. I like loads of light in my life because it really affects my mood. Um, I suffer badly from bad mood sometimes, yes. Maybe not in the camera, but I definitely do. And light really seems to help my mood. And this finally is to be our bedroom. The red slash pink, it's pink. Ashley says it's red, but it's definitely pink. This room is gonna be our main bedroom. At first, I planned to rip down this wall and make it much, much bigger because there's an ensuite in there which was absolutely terrible. Hi, boys. What's up? Oh, nettle stings. Let's see. You okay? Yeah. Nettles are bad. I love you, mate. So, we were going to rip down that wall, but we've decided to keep it and keep the ensuite because. We've got the wardrobe over the other side of the hallway, so we don't need the extra space in here. There was glass bricks in this wall, and fair enough, in the 1970s, Bob on, looked awesome. Not now. So we filled in the glass wall, that's from the TV wall, which is why there's sockets hanging out of it, and it's still to be all sanded back. And here is the ensuite, or uh, what's left of it. So again, flickery lights, but we will sort that. This was just tiled yesterday, and all of the walls are gonna be tiled. There's gonna be a Kazi there, toilet, loo, WC, bog, whatever you wanna call it. Sinks there, and basically a kind of wet room thing down there. So as you can see, we have made a huge amount of progress, but there is also a massive effort still to be made in order to get this place finished. And believe it or not, four weeks today is when we're wanting to move in, kinda. Oh, apparently Ash says not wanting to. We are moving in four weeks today. Mm. Anyway, the reason I'm here today is I'm gonna get some of the fascias put back in position so that the painter and decorator can crack on with getting them finished off. Cause gaps in the woodwork don't look good. So little bits like this were removed when I blocked up doorways and all that kind of thing. What we did was we kept all of the stuff that we removed from all over the house in a big pile because we didn't want to try and find the same profile of stuff. And luckily it's worked out quite well. No way. Well, I didn't make a very good job of that. I didn't support the end of the wood properly. So when it got near the end, it snapped. Idiot. Hmm. Do I try and keep it? Or put a new bit in? Keep it. To be honest, I don't know if I can afford to waste any of the skirting board that we salvaged from demolition. So I'm gonna no more nails this bit back together and hope it works. Fingers crossed. I can hear you thinking it. 
but I'm sure it'll work. Probably. The Gorilla Tape can just be a kind of feature. It'll be nice. The industrial look. It's maybe hard work right now at the house renovating this as well as working my 9 to 5 but when I'm here Ashley's over in the corner working her little butt off as well and the kids are outside enjoying themselves. This is literally my dream. like that. In 30 seconds on camera and half an hour in real life. That bit's done. Only 486 more pieces to go. Ashley's making that scratchy noise, look. Luckily though, this one is going back on when it came off. And that folks is pretty much your update for the house for now. We stayed at the house for a few more hours, sorting out outside, putting on more faces and playing with the kids. Guys, hope you had an awesome weekend. See you next week.